Former Dancing on Ice star Jason Gardner has accused ITV of having a toxic culture. Jason, who was an on-off judge on the skating show between 2006 and 2019, claimed he was employed to be the program's Mr. Nasty. He alleged he was told off by bosses when he made kind comments to the competitors. Jason claimed he was confronted by executives following his fiery interaction with Gemma Collins during the 2019 series. Following Philip Schofield's axing from this morning, Jason told The Sun, the fish rots from the head. There are a lot of toxic people still in control. Inside the life of Coronation Street Troy Cropper star I believe this toxic culture will destroy itself. This is opening Pandora's box, and rightly so. Jason claimed the culture at ITV became gradually worse while he was working there, adding, I was getting a lot of mixed signals. And that's the thing, they played with me. If I wasn't nasty enough, I was called in after the show, Frog marched in, and sat down like, what's happening with you? We haven't hired you to be nice. We've got four other people that will just be very nice and say nothing. Coronation Street's Aggie Bailey and more financial trouble I believe this toxic culture will destroy itself. This is opening Pandora's box, and rightly so. If I wasn't nasty enough, I was called in after the show, Frog marched in, and sat down like, what's happening with you? We haven't hired you to be nice. We've got four other people that will just be very nice and say nothing. Don't miss. Holly Willoughby changed and I no longer know her, former co-star claims, update. Schofield's response upset Dancing on Ice star after question about affair, insight, Dancing on Ice's Jason Gardner says he lived in a tent, latest, so I knew my place, I was put in my place, the Australian choreographer claimed. Jason said his on-air altercation with Gemma was the final nail in the coffin and claimed bosses didn't want to issue a statement as it would add gravitas to the situation. In 2019 Jason said he was taking legal action after Gemma accused him of selling stories about her on live TV. Express.co.uk has contacted ITV for comment on the claims. Disputing Jason's story, an ITV source told Mail Online, this was part of a wider conversation outlining the possible ramifications of legal action, and it was felt it would be inappropriate for him, as a celebrity judge, to be judging an individual contestant against whom he was pursuing a legal case. This was no way intended to be seen as unsupportive, more a transparency about the process. Dancing on Ice is set to return to ITV later this yet on a date yet to be announced. Melting